Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Classic CC lets you specify the slideshow's playback options, which include transition effects and the length of time each slide appears on screen. However, it's important to note that slide duration and transition settings are not applied to exported PDF slideshows. They also do not apply to slideshows presented using the manual slideshow mode. When you export a slideshow from Lightroom Classic CC in the PDF format, slide durations and transitions are fixed. To set the slideshow's playback options, expand the Playback panel at the right side of the slideshow module. First, you select the slideshow mode by clicking either the automatic or manual button at the top of the playback panel. To play music, apply slide timing length, transition effects, and show other effects like the pan and zoom feature, you must select the automatic slideshow mode. If you select the manual slideshow mode, all these slide transitions are removed and music is disabled. For the automatic slideshow mode, you can set several options. As noted in a previous lesson, you can let Lightroom sync the slide transitions to any music in the slideshow by checking the Sync Slides to Music checkbox. However, this may produce unexpected results for slide duration during the slideshow. To manually set the slide duration on screen, use the Slide Length slider or type a value into the adjacent field and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to set the value. To set the duration of the crossfades between slides, Use the crossfade slider or click into the adjacent field to type a value and then press the enter key on your keyboard to set it. Alternatively, as mentioned in a previous lesson, you can click the fit to music button below these sliders to fit the slide length to the total duration of all the slideshow's music. If you have video with embedded audio in the film strip as one or more slides within the slideshow, and the slideshow also contains its own audio tracks as shown within the music panel. Then you can use the audio balance slider in the playback panel to choose how much of each type of audio to play. Sliding this all the way to the video setting at the left end mutes the audio from the slideshow and only plays embedded audio within any slide videos. Conversely, sliding the slider to the music setting at its right end mutes any embedded audio within slide videos and only plays the slideshow's music tracks. To add an automatic pan and zoom to your slideshow, check the pan and zoom checkbox in the playback panel. This adds some movement and visual interest to your slideshow slides. You can set the amount of automatic panning and zooming by adjusting the adjacent slider anywhere from low to high. To repeat the slideshow when it is finished, check the Repeat Slideshow checkbox. To show the slideshow's slides in a random order, check the Random Order checkbox. To set the quality of the slideshow preview when you are previewing the slideshow, make a selection from the Quality dropdown. Note that this setting only applies to the slideshow's preview. When you play or preview a slideshow, you can also override the automatic settings to manually advance the slideshow, pause it, or quit it. These are also the same actions that you must take to advance through a slideshow that has a manual slideshow mode set. To advance to the next slide, use the right arrow key on your keyboard. To return to the previous slide, press the left arrow key on your keyboard. To pause the slideshow, press the spacebar key on your keyboard. You can then press the same key again to unpause it. To quit the slideshow, press the escape key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.